It's a haunting mystery, the disappearance of Micah Holsenbake and Bailey Desbach. The last day that I saw Micah was March 15th, 2018. My daughter Bailey was 20 years old when she disappeared on April 25th, 2018. And in between those two disappearances, a murder in a Bakersfield neighborhood bringing up the question, is it three mysteries or one? My son James was shot on April 8th at approximately 1.15 in the morning. My son Steve drove me to the scene. And then the policeman said he had, that it expired. I believe that Bailey's disappearance, Micah's disappearance, and James's murder, they're all connected. What makes you think that this is all connected? We've uncovered that they have all of their circle of acquaintances, all the same names were coming up. Why do you think your son was shot? I think he was set up. There was guns, drugs, counterfeiting. Micah was tied to Bailey. Yes. James and, and Ryan were both there that night. Bailey is also tied to this person, correct? Yes. It can't be coincidence, can it? This whole thing is so interrelated, it's just unbelievable. Well, Di says one of her other sons was with James the night he was killed. There was a big group of people standing around my brother. I literally just sat there and held, and held him and told him, you know, I loved him. This guy has said out loud that he's going to call his boys that are going to come over strapped. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, within an hour and a half, some people show up and shoot your brother. Yeah. That would seem to me to be a, a key starting point. You didn't cause your brother to get shot. Somebody else did this, and they need to pay for it, and you need to not protect them. Our affiliate reporter from KGET-TV, Olivia Lavoie, has been covering this case. Something that myself and the mothers we have strongly considered is the possibility Bailey knew what happened to Micah, and that made her a, a liability of sorts. I've asked some real trusted experts of mine to be here today. Former police detective Steve Cardian and former FBI profiler Candace DeLong. Well, Micah and Bailey disappeared. I believe one person did that crime is responsible for their disappearance and a different person did the drive-by shooting but with the knowledge of the person that's responsible I'm gonna call him the boss people kill for generally two reasons money and love narcotics and gun running involve a lot of money I think what happened to James was likely prompted by someone at that house that may be related to one of the people you have listed up there. You think it's unlikely that they have survived? I don't believe that they have su survived, I'm, and I'm very sad, very sorry. Well, just a few days after our taping here, it was discovered that there were remains found that did, in fact, belong to Cheryl's son, Micah. Months after Micah Polson Bake vanished, Detectives are now saying his case is a homicide. Micah's mother tells us that an arm found in the Kern River this summer has been identified as belonging to her son. Dr. Phil, we wanted to give you a brief update about events that have happened since we filmed at your show. We received the rapid DNA analysis for the human remains. The arm did belong to Micah. That, of course, was devastating. Gives a whole new dimension to what that murderer has done to our family. Still looking for Bailey, still trying to find answers. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.